hi guys welcome back to the channel so this is a most requested video on how to make okwa so so many people have been asking me what is okwa i'll be putting what a video or a picture of what okwa looks like is a popular meal in the western part of nigeria which is with the ibos is a very popular meal and a big man food that if they give you okwa in any occasion you go just know that you have made it in life on today's video i'll be showing you how to make okwa there are different ways for which you can make your okwa the porridge okwa and the normal watery okwa so today i'll be showing you how to make the porridge no the watery okwa maybe towards the ending of the video i'll be attaching how to make the porridge okwa so you can choose the one that you can make or the one that you can cook for your man or for your husband and if you haven't subscribed please click on the subscribe button click on the notification bell and let me take you through on the video yeah yeah guys welcome back so this is the okwa that we will be using okay so this is dried okwa in a case whereby you want your okwa to last longer or it doesn't spoil you can just dry it and then put it in any nylon bag or any container it is not going to spoil so for this okwa i am going to be soaking it when i come back from work back again we'll be using it so we'll be using everything i didn't really measure this but i hope i hope it's not too much but it won't be too much anyway so all i have to do is to pour water inside and allow it to soak okay it's going to soak for a long time till when i am ready to cook it so any day that you want to cook your okwa you can soak overnight but if you can soak overnight you can soak for just some hours before you can make use of it so for this one i am going to be soaking it this morning and then i'll be cooking it in the evening so that is what i want to show you guys then when i'm ready to cook it i am going to wash it the way that i want so that is it. Pour enough water and leave it. So this is our okwa. This okwa hasn't, it hasn't cooked down the way I want. Uh -uh. It hasn't cooked down the way I want. So I'm trying to increase the brightness so that you people can see what I'm making. So while the okwa is cooking, I want to be adding this bitter leaf inside it. Okay. So... <laughs> This is how my uh, my mom used to cook for my dad. They usually put this bitter leaf inside the okwa. I, I should have asked the reason, but I did not, okay? So I will still be covering this to cook. I will also be adding um, um, dry fish into the okwa later, okay? So I will be covering this like this. <sighs> Welcome back to the channel, guys. So I know... This video is not really um, well detailed like you would have wanted it, but I will just talk you through on what I have achieved so far, okay? So this is my okwa. This is my breadfruit. And this okwa, we washed it like I showed you in the morning that I soaked it before leaving for work. And when I came back, I put it on fire. I forgot I was filming a recipe for that. So what I did is that I washed my okwa. I put it on a pressure pot. We cooked it down in a pressure pot for some time before we poured it into this normal pot. Okay. So make sure you cook your okwa that it gets soft. Where is my spatula? So that it gets soft to the way for which you want it. Like when you press it and you notice that it's now soft the way you want, that is when you know that your okwa is done. Now, some people will be asking, what is the green leaf that they're seeing here? Now, while growing up and my mom used to make this okwa, she usually adds this bitter leaf inside the okwa, okay? I have, I've seen her do it several times, so I learned how to put this bitter leaf. So this is just fresh bitter leaf. There are some people that use the one that they have squeezed and remove the stick so that is what i have done so far with this okwa the okwa is still cooking i am not done preparing it so make sure you cook for a long time till the okwa is cooked and the okwa is soft that is the update that i want to give you guys so cover this and still allow to cook also as you can see the water from this okwa is not really white it's a little bit brownish now if you want your okwa to cook for a short period of time some people add account 
why some people use ngu water. So this is what is called ngu water, okay? So some people will be asking what is ngu. I'll just be putting a video on how ngu is in the powdered form and how I sieved it to get to this place, okay? So this is kind of like um, dried plantain leaves. They roasted it and then blended it. I don't just know how they came about this. So this is how ngu is. You can use this for your ncha, as an ncha for your abacha and the unkobi and the rest of them. So I poured it so that I won't cook this okwa for a very long time. So that is it. Cover to still cook. Yeah. And while at that, I will be getting our other ingredients. If you are looking for another substitute for potash, this is ungu. This is what ungu looks like. So this is from roasted plantain that they blended or that they roasted. I don't know how it came about, but this is what ungu is. Ungu is a substitute that you can use in place of your potash because potash purges. How to use this ungu is that when you buy it from the market, pour water into it, as you can see me doing. When you pour water into it, mix everything. When you mix everything, the sand inside the ungu will settle in the bottom of it. So when you pour water, you, you will add to put water according to how the ungu that you have poured in. Okay? If you are understanding my English anyway. So when you pour the water, don't pour too much water, just little by little so that the ungu doesn't lose its potency. When you pour your water, get a sieve. When you get a sieve, sieve out the top. When you sieve out the top, you will definitely see the sand on the bottom of the ungu. All you have to do is to pour out the sand, sieve it the second time and your ungu water is ready. You can store this, it doesn't spoil. You can store this in your fridge and you can use it at any point in time. Use it for your abatement for your ECO, for your Nkobi, anything that you want to do, you can make use of this Ngu water. And here is your Ngu. Thank you. Bye. Yeah, welcome back, guys. So I'll be checking on our Okwa now. Okay? If you see her, my hand checking, Biko. Pardon me. So here is our Okwa. Right now, I want to be adding stock fish inside. Okay, this thing I'm not going to throw it away. Okay, so they have two methods of cooking ukwa. The watery method, <laughs> as in the one that you don't mix with oil, and then the one that the person will just be scooping and be eating. That is the one that um, somebody's son I know eats. So that is the one I'm making today. Mm -hmm. So I'll be going in with our fish so that everything will start simmering inside. So here is our dry fish. Add it in. Okay, so that it will cook with the okwa. Mm? Mm -hmm. So mix everything in. Mm -hmm. So we'll be adding, I want to add a little bit of um, salt or seasoning cubes so that the water will have taste because this okwa is almost done. Okay, as you can see, it's almost done. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we'll be going in with our salt. Just add little by little. Please don't add too much so that the milk okwa will not be salty. Mm? So that will go in. I'll be adding... Um, this one cube, focus, focus. Hey, hey, where? Anyway, I'll be going in with this one cube and I'll mix everything. Allow that to still simmer. You can only be worried about your okwa when the water has dried up and is now about to burn. But if water is still inside, you can as well play with it. So that is it. So you just test the salt and the seasoning cubes you have added to know if it really uh, measured up for the okwa. So that if is you're wondering why our uh, okwa is still on fire. So I finished cooking it for some time. <clears throat> I forgot that I haven't added pepper. So what you're seeing is um, red pepper and yellow pepper. I just want you to have that spicy taste. 
okay being that we love pepper a lot so that's why i added some of those pepper that you're seeing there so i'll be allowing this to cook for some time just five to ten minutes and then we'll be dishing out our okwa okay yeah So here is our okwa and I'll be dishing it out now, okay? Set this aside and this is coming here, okay? So, here is a uh, okwa. So, this is another method for which you can make your okwa apart from the apart from the porridge okwa, you can as well make your okwa like this. Okay, so this is the watery okwa. For those that don't like the porridge okwa, they always prefer this. So, all they have to do is just to be blowing the hotness. And now be drinking it with the water, okay? Porridge okwa and the mili okwa. So here is our okwa all done and dusted. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next cooking video. Bye. Here is how I served. Husband man is okwa. Mm? You set this aside. Put this right here. Mm. So here is our okwa and our um chick <coughs> and here is our chicken all done and dusted. So I'll see you guys in the next slide. I should I end this video? It don't long go. As of on a camera, mom. Daddy, okay. She gets all that she's wet. How do you mean all that she's wet? I'm wet. You're wet. I put pepper now. Okay, eat pepper. Let's eat pepper. You don't want pepper. Mm. But you haven't tasted it. You love pepper. I added pepper. Mm, I didn't eat pepper. I'm going to eat it. Eli, I'm going to eat pepper. I'm going to eat pepper. I'm going to eat pepper. Okay, so...